the world of auto racing can be very exhilarating and very dangerous. There has been multiple deaths throughout the years since the invention of auto racing. Adam Petty, Dan Weldon, Scott Kalita, and Dale Earnhardt, just to name a few. The unfortunate names of Rich Vogler and Robbie Stanley, unfortunately, are added to that list. But what separates them from the others is that they were both killed in the same race car four years apart. On July 21st, 1990, Vogler, who had previously raced in the Indy 500 five times, was racing at a sprint car event at Salem Speedway in Salem, Indiana. He was leading the race with only a lap to go when he crashed his car. Vogler's helmet flew off his head and he suffered severe head injuries that proved to be fatal. Because of USAC rules on a red flag reverting to the previously completed lap, he was declared the winner of the event following his death. It was decided to rebuild the Hoffman called White Lightning number 69 sprint car and continue racing it. On May 26, 1994, Stanley was racing at a USAC Sprint Car Championship in Winchester, Indiana. During the seventh lap, Stanley's car spun coming off turn four on the half-mile paved oval. The car was struck by two others and erupted into flames. Randolph County Coroner Stephen Connor ruled the cause of death to be multiple traumatic injuries, specifically of the head. He had numerous fractures and dislocations and died immediately. Stanley was 26 years of age at the time of the accident. All right, so this is the final stop. This is where Robbie Stanley is buried. Uh, we're just a little north of Indianapolis in this mausoleum and straight ahead above the fifth crypt up is the final resting place of Robbie Stanley. And I believe he's buried next to his grandfather it might be his grandfather, William Stanley. Just a, uh, ultimately a very, very eerie story and one that happened, I believe, just out of just horrible, horrible luck. Rest in peace to both drivers. Okay, guys, I am Lamont. I am out of here. On to the next story. I will see you on the next one, I hope. Peace out. Here we are at the Forest Hill Cemetery. We are just right outside of Chicago. And uh, this is the final resting place of Rich Vogler. Uh, he was the other driver of that uh, car that uh, died in a crash. And this is his grave right here. And he is buried next to his father, Donald Vogler, who also died in a car crash uh, in 1981. I think he was racing uh, down in uh, Indy. And at the feet of Rich is his son, Donald John Vogler. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, there's nothing online that I can read that indicates a, a cause of death. Very eerie and very sad. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Gotta hit the road.
I'll catch up with y'all later. Have a good one. Peace out.